What's up everyone? In today's video we're going to be analyzing the game between Sevilla and Real Madrid in what was match day 5 of La Liga. Coming into the match, Real Madrid had just been thoroughly dismantled by PSG in the Champions League, so this was a crucial game because many felt that this would set the tone for the rest of the season. And before we get started, just a reminder to watch until the end of the video to see if you are our lucky winner of the $25 Amazon gift card. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and have a quick recap of both teams starting 11 and see how they lined up. Starting with the home team, Sevilla lined up in a 4-3-3 and was made up of the following. Next, the visiting team Real Madrid lined up in a 4-2-3-1, made up of the players on screen. As for how the game ended, we can see here that Real Madrid was able to get one past Vaklik thanks to Benzema in the second half. I also want to point out a key stat here, and that is that Sevilla did not have a single shot on target the entire game. This speaks volumes about Madrid's defense, who has come under some major criticism the past couple of months. Also worth mentioning is that this led to Courtois' first clean sheet as a Real Madrid keeper. Could this be a sign of things to come? Next, let's have a look at the goal. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it was Benzema who was able to get the winning goal of the game for Real Madrid. Having a look at how it came to be, we see that it was Carvajal who was responsible for the assist. And what an assist it was. Perfectly weighted and right in the most dangerous area for the goalkeeper. Benzema is currently Real Madrid's top goal scorer this season with 5 goals from 5 games. And Carvajal is Real Madrid's leader in terms of assists, with three so far this season. Looks like these two are finding their form, and this bodes well for Madrid's offense, if they can continue to link up the way they did for this crucial goal. Now let's have a look at tactics and discuss some major takeaways from this game. First, I want to start off by pointing out how Zidane prioritized defense heavily specifically by having both Hazard and Bale drop when Real Madrid lost possession of the ball. When this would happen, Real Madrid would primarily position themselves in a 4-1-4-1 with Benzema up as the lone striker, and would then seek both wingers to rapidly break for the counter-attack whenever they got the ball back. Next, let's continue discussing how important it is that Real Madrid did not allow a single shot on target. And in all actuality, it's more important for Courtois, who has been criticized due to not being able to stop many shots, which some would argue that Navas would have been able to stop. Many argued that when Navas left for PSG, Real Madrid was downgrading by keeping Courtois as their number one pick as keeper. But with this game, Courtois snaps a streak of 15 games, allowing opponents to get on the scoreboard, which had gone as far back as February of this year. Definitely a giant weight off of his shoulders, and this could lead to more confidence not only in himself, but also his back line trusting him more too. And speaking of bad streaks being broken, prior to this game, Real Madrid had not been able to get a win in Sevilla Stadium for the past five matches, which stretched as far back as 2015. So after the humiliating defeat against PSG in their last game, beating Sevilla in their stadium after four years, and their defense and keeper shining after so long, it's clear to see why Real Madrid were happy to get the result. Not just because they won and got the crucial three points, but because they had so much stacked against them and were still able to rise above it all. And with this win, as of the time of this recording, Real Madrid currently sit in second place, tied with Athletic Bilbao with 11 points in the table. Athletic Bilbao currently sits first only because of one point in goal difference. But now is not the time to celebrate for Real Madrid, who has a game midweek against Osasuna and will then play Atletico Madrid over the weekend. I also want to take a moment here and thank everybody who's been supporting the channel, entering all of the giveaways. Not only has it been people from the USA, but we also had somebody from Mexico, Indonesia, which was really cool, uh, Argentina as well, so 
We're just going global, guys. Thank you so much. I love seeing the diversity of all the football lovers here on the channel. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. And I will do my best to continue providing knowledgeable and entertaining videos for you all into the future. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and announce our winner of the giveaway. Can I get a drum roll, please? The winner of this month's giveaway, we have... Eduardo Bautista. Congratulations! I believe YouTube did away with their messages here, but if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, that's where I'll be contacting you. So again, congratulations. And for those of you who didn't win this time around, don't fret, because next month, with El Clásico on the horizon, we have some big plans in store. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so, so you don't miss out on our future videos, because we have a big giveaway planned for next month. Follow us on Twitter at VCFootball3 so you don't miss out on any channel news or any polls that we have. Like and share the video as it helps support the channel. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one. See ya.